We'll guide you through how to fix your Nintendo Switch not connecting to your TV or monitor. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First things first, go and get your dock just like this and swing it around. And what you want to do is make sure everything is connected properly. So I've just gone and disconnected mine for this guide. And so what you want to do is start with the power cord and then what you need to do is plug it in. Now it's super important that you push this in all the way and if it's some people just leave it sort of half plugged in. So make sure you fully push it in all the way and it clicks in and then grab the HDMI as well and do the same. Make sure that you firmly push it in and that it's not loose at all. Just like that, then go and put the cover up and then what you want to do is of course put the other end of the HDMI into your screen and go and plug the AC adapter in as well. Of course, make sure those other cables and plugs are properly plugged in as well. After you've now connected the dock, then what you want to do is come onto your switch and you want to go and turn it on like so. So my switch is currently in rest mode, so I can just tap the power button and go and unlock it just like so. And then you want to go and place the switch into the dock while it's unlocked like so. And then what you want to do is just go and drop it in. And that's super important. You've got the dock facing you like that. You've got the switch logo on the front and then you can just go and drop the switch in facing you as well. Of course, make sure everything's aligned as well, and then it should just go and turn this off like that, and it's now in docking mode. Then what you need to do is go and turn on your TV or monitor, but what's important is you then go and select the correct source, because it's likely your TV or monitor will have multiple different inputs, so make sure you select the right one. And then hopefully, it should then go and appear on your screen. However, if it still doesn't, the next thing you want to do is go and check the connection between the switch itself and the dock. So you take out the switch, just like so, and then go and look down into the docking station and just make sure the connection is clear. What you may want to do is go and clean that uh, with like a soft brush or maybe some compressed air or something like that. It also may be worth cleaning the switch port as well itself um, and seeing if that makes any difference. And after you've done that, then go and put it back into the docking station as we did before. In case there's some sort of software problem, then what we could try doing as well is just restarting the switch. So to go and do that, you need to go and hold the power button on top of your switch just like so. And if you keep holding that for a couple of seconds, uh, maybe a bit longer, you then go and see this screen here uh, and you want to go and click on power options. You can use touch screen or the buttons and you can then go and click on restart. And that will just go and restart the switch. So if there's any sort of software problem which is causing it, um, then hopefully that will go and fix the problem. After it's started, go and turn it on again. And then what we want to do is go and place it in the dock and go and see if it will then go and connect. I hope this video has gone and resolved your problem. If it has, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Have an awesome day.